Okay, here's my parents issue. Uh, I was telling Tom, and I already told you that uh, yesterday there's a big story going on in, in high school softball. It's, it's national, and it's because this young lady's uh, uncle is Tom Brady. You know, the That's quarterback. Yeah, anyway, she's a really good softball player. You know, she's a freshman. She's starting. Her team is like 31-1. and one. They had like ties because of the way they play some uh, off-season tournaments there. Anyway, just a really good young lady. And her coach has been coaching for 40 years. You know, we know coaches have been, oh, Coach yeah. Dredge has been along, yep. around 40 years. And anyway, at the end of the thing, it was, it was so much fun to talk to him. Because, you know, the older coaches, they just, right. let it, they just let it flow. Exactly. I said, you know, 40 years, what are some of the biggest changes you've seen in, in softball? I was thinking he was going to say about um, moving the mound, uh, the circle back. And, right. And the kids are so much more athletic. Da, da, da. He says, I'll tell you what, the only thing that's changed in my 40 years is how the parents react. And it's got a lot worse than it was when I first started. I about rolled off my chair, and he is absolutely right. He is absolutely right, and and it's it's amazing. And and you know what it is? There's there's so much money in sports now. Whether you're talking about scholarships, you know, professional money, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, every kid think or every parent thinks their kids are better than they are. Every parent, and, and, and as, they okay. sh- as they that's should, okay. yeah, there's yeah, nothing okay. wrong with that, no. but every parent thinks that their kid should be getting a scholarship somewhere, every parent, you know, thinks their kid should be going pro, that kind of things, and there's just so much involved that if if things aren't going the way that they think they should, you know, maybe they think their kid should be getting more playing time, should be featured differently, you know, should be, you know, getting the ball more in basketball or football or you know, should be hitting third in the lineup, you know, in baseball or softball or, or should be, you know, the featured pitcher or whatever. Or the first one introduced in the starting lineup. Exactly. <laughs> you know, whatever whatever the case may be, you know, and in, in the big difference is, you know, it used to be in the past that that parents, you know, would, would either just kind of sit and brood about it and complain or, or maybe they'd get a private meeting with the coach, you know. Yeah, you know, we'll maybe, talk one-on-one. May, and maybe just once during the season they would do that, you know, and, and just kind of air their grievances and leave it at that. You know, whereas now, I mean, there's parents in places that will, they will yell at the coach during the game, you, you know, and, oh, yeah. and things like that, you know, about how things are going. That And confront them after a game, too. Exactly. Confront them. And, and we talk <laughs> about some of the transfer stuff, and that's where a lot of it comes behind us because I think, well, my kid's not getting treated right. Coach doesn't like my kid. Coach isn't playing my kid enough, or whatever the case may be. I'm going to take him over here, you know, where they probably have a coach that's like, oh, yeah, bring him on over. We'd, we'd love to have him. And Yeah, that other coach isn't treating him right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And uh, But a lot of that comes back to the parents. That's that's for sure. Yeah, and, and the, the sad part is, is that we're all kind of like that. We all love our kids. We want them to do their best, and sometimes we get a little nutso. Right. But I think it's gotten a lot worse. I told you I was at an event the other day where the mother was there talking to the, the athlete, and the athlete kept saying, get away from me. Get away right. from me. And I mean, it was like, you know, go out there. You're not doing good well, enough. It, get out there and do that. Yeah, well, and that's the other thing is, you know, a lot of parents think that they're experts on it, too. Oh, yeah, they're uh, all. Yep. You know, and that they know exactly what, what to do and how to do it and those kind of things. Well, coach, your coach isn't right about that. You should try doing it this way. And, uh, you know, and yeah, they'll try to tell the, the kid, you know, hey, dude. And the, and the kid's in the midst of a game or whatever. They don't yep. want to hear that. It's like, here, just let me do my thing. You know, if you want to talk to me about it afterwards, talk to me about it afterwards. And, you know, we, we saw that before uh, in uh, in a sport where, with my own son, who uh, had a parent trying to, you know, tell him how to play volleyball. And, you know, now here was my wife, who was a, you know, great volleyball player in high school, played some in college, that kind of stuff. You know, she played her whole life and kind of knows what she's doing. And uh, this other parent who had never played before in his life and... You know, but but he thought that you know he 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 knew what was right to to do you know and and we're just like really you haven't, you haven't you know not saying that you don't know anything about the sport but I think we got this covered over here you know and it, it, you know it, it, yeah so it just the well way- you know back in the old days if my coach would have got mad at me my dad yeah. would have been mad at me oh yeah. We, we, we went yeah, from letting the coach be the head guy to I, being the... the yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. It would have been the same way for me. If the coach got mad at me, my, my parents were going to assume that I did something wrong. Yeah. And, and, and probably and, I did. And exactly. The and, and, the, and the coach probably had a reason to be mad at me. And yeah, now if the coach gets mad, you know, the, then the parent's going to get mad at the coach. You know, and you see that so much now where, uh, you know, so many coaches now have to kind of 
tiptoe almost, you know, maybe not discipline quite as much. You know, yeah, maybe, they don't yell at them in games may, like they Yeah, used maybe to. not get onto their kids as much be, yeah. because, you know, they're, they're you know, like, hey, if I, if I get onto this kid, he might leave. That, that's where I say, you know, kudos to Coach Brian Ott at Auburn. Uh, he will get on to his players, he, you know, he, and, and not in a mean way or a bad way or anything like that. But I've seen plenty of times where they come back in the huddle and, and he will tell them that they are doing things wrong. Yeah, I've you seen know, the evil look in his exactly. eyes. Exactly. <laughs> I mean that nice. I don't yeah, mean that no, bad. Exactly. You know, so I say kudos to him for, for stepping up. And, and, so, and I think that's reflected in the way his teams play. And, and here's the thing. For the most part, the kids don't mind it. You know, if, that's if, part of the if deal. They, if they know and they understand that the coach is trying to help them get better and, and things like that, they don't mind it at all. It, you know, but the parents and hey, I'm a parent. I, I understand you don't like to see somebody getting onto your kid about something. No, I uh, let my wife do that. But but you know, that's that's again, you know, maybe have a civil conversation with the coach. Maybe understand what it is they're trying to do. It might make sense to you because again, you know, especially if you've played sports, you know that when you're in the heat of the moment. You know, things things are gonna come out maybe a lot louder than they would come out if you you know if you're just maybe watching film on it later on or something like that. You know, and uh, you know, but if if you understand that the coach has your best interests in heart, you should be able to take a little bit of that. I'm gonna guarantee you that 99.9 percent of coaches that leave the sport or quit coaching at a high level like the varsity leave because of issues with parents. And I'm I'm not saying uh, that it's all of them. Right. I'm saying there's some that are really. Yeah. I I have known some really sad issues of my friends that were coaches. Oh yeah. That just said this is not I worth can't it. Deal with it anymore. I would rather coach uh, a smaller sport where the, it's not a big deal, and even the parents don't even care. And all the, there's there's not many of those now anymore. Too. I know it's it, getting it, bad. And I tell you what, it goes down to uh, it, it. It's down at lower levels too. I mean, I see you know going out to the ball fields and things like that as my kids growing up and. You know, parents getting on to coaches, you know. Umpires. Yeah, on <laughs> umpires and things like that, you know, for, you know, eight, nine-year-olds playing baseball. And it's like, you know, look, look, they're just learning the game still right now. And here they are treating it like it's game seven of the World Series. Yeah, and, like my grandson sliding yeah. into first base because, well, I never get to hit that often. So. Right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> you get those kind of things, and then, yeah, you get parents getting on to coaches about it, or they yell at their kids out there. Or that coach the doesn't know anything. And, yeah, and you're like, you know, come on. So you wonder where those kids pick that up when they Ex- get older. Exactly. From us. Yeah. And you know what? None of us are exempt. This one I could throw myself into. I right. mean, you get into it, but you and, learn and, as you and go. And again, you know, I, I get it. I'm a parent. It's tough you know when you see your your kid out there and maybe not you know you you wish you could do more or wish the coach would play him more that kind of stuff whatever the case may be you you know i get it go out and hug your coach today folks but yeah exactly tell them you love them see what they do they probably need it you know but uh you know it's 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 just tough yeah you just kind of everybody needs to get away from the heat of the moment you know maybe have private conversations later on that kind of stuff where You know, don't do stuff right at the games uh, or right after that kind of stuff. Well, we picked on the IHSA. We yep. picked on coaches and ADs for seating. And we picked on the parents. I think we covered everybody. Yeah, I don't we think anybody up. likes us anymore.